What's up everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Sewer time Resident Evil and the sewers are Old friends, let's just say Oh, I want that, I want that very much How do I get in there? What is that place? Do you maybe have a door? Well, there's a door over there, so let's go check it out It's anything like the oh, Resident Evil, the sewer system in Resident Evil 2. I'm gonna have to. I think we're. No, it doesn't seem to need a puzzle. I think we're gonna have to go through all of these places multiple times in order to get everything. Increase the sewer security. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility, <laughs> like Leon and Ada. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and uh, implementing new security protocols. Oh no. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. Well, I don't have that. So, whoever set up this new system, F you, man. For not. You, you did not consider the pos. Oh shit! I didn't actually mean to. I'm definitely burning these clothes. <laughs> you were gonna burn these no matter what, Jill. You were not supposed to retain them. I mean, they were in a completely contaminated city. What were you thinking? I wonder if we're gonna see any Billy's here. Billy, if you, uh, for anyone who didn't watch the RE2 playthrough, that's the name I coined. For the deformed offs, deformed offspring of uh, Willem Birkin, the you could say is the major main boss in uh, Resident Evil 2. He was the carrier of the G virus. Is this guy supposed to die or not? Okay, I killed him. Yeah, what the fuck is that? It's like the mutated shark with legs. What the hell? Did the shark mate with an with an ostrich? Or well, I have a feeling that's not the only one of its kind. <laughs> Raccoon City, where there are more than alligators in the sewers. Let's check out the office. We're gonna be. Checking out all of these places eventually. Nothing is gonna get left behind. Unless unless Nemesis shows up. If he shows up then all hell breaks loose. Everything gets dropped and we escape to wherever he isn't. That's the game plan. Research assistance logs. Uh, March 4th, water temperature 18 Celsius. P pH degree 6.8. I'm not gonna skip I'm gonna skip these. Gamma's released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish, combat potential low. Gamma's. Is that the shark with legs thing I just fought? Is that a gamma? April 18th. Um, experimented with additional hormones with and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is not able to move quickly and a swallow prey whole. Yeah, definitely that. June 30th. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlyle is more committed than ever to pre perfecting the Gamma line. August 14th. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers. Increased the temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but the specimens... The water quality in the sewers? But the specimens appear fine, despite my concerns. Gamas quickly learned that the layout of the sewers and within two days were exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. September 1st. Okay, we're getting pro uh, approaching current date. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the Gamma's continued growth. 
we should begin to consider other possible arrangements. September 9th, a water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves the viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Did they see the light then? Invoice from gun shop condo. Thank you for purchasing the... XXX grenade launcher. We have made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optional performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model, and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Handwritten note, uh, explosive rounds. Okay, so we uh, combine different types of explosives for different rounds. We have explosive rounds, flame rounds, and acid rounds. We also have mine rounds. Which can uh, can be readily crafted, not work, not worth stocking up on. Won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. So basically, I need to remember this. Okay, something like I I'll just, I'm just glad I have this. Uh, since I have so few ammo for this right now, I'm gonna keep this here. This is explosive B. Um, let's take that with us, just in case we can combine it with something else. So we have two safe rooms in the sewer already. That's very promising. Get back up, Jill. What's up here? Oh, this is gonna require a battery pack that... Looks like it needs a power source. Yeah, the one of those battery packs that the note was talking about. Uh, it's locked or something. So we're gonna need to find the, an employee of the sewer company and steal his battery pack. He won't mind because he'll likely be dead or, well, a zombie. Either way. Now, where else can we go? Did I, did I leave uh, an entire handgun here? It's a, it's a hand, hand grenade, okay. I guess I haven't gone this way. Oh boy. Hey, open up. Say, ah! Oh, ah! He's fast! Jesus. He ate me! What the fuck? Wow. That was... That went fast. <laughs> okay, that just happened. Maybe I should take the grenade launcher given what just happened to us. Ooh, but it takes so much space. I, I might take it if I had that uh, extra pack that I just saw, but I don't. I think I can take him with a shotgun if I was more careful.
Is there any way I can... One thing from Resi 2 that I really miss... I'm not really sure if it's just not in this game or... I'm just not using it right, is the ability to... Resist the enemy effectively when you're grabbed or bitten by them, like shoving a knife in their neck. I strongly suspect it's something I'm not doing right. Because that seems like a very standard Resident Evil feature. Maybe I should use a grenade, since we have more grenades that we can comfortably carry right now. Ew. Hey, hello there. I was just thinking about you. Ah! Oh, the grenade did do some good. I wish they would drop something. <laughs> I don't know if I'm what they're supposed to drop, but when I kill an enemy in a game, I expect them to, I don't know, drop some ammo. It would be nuts if they drop some ammo just now. Okay. Oh, we are... Oh, we are about to have an open space when I shoot another round of this shotgun. Now where is here? Some kind of lab. Is anything on? A uh, battery pack that I can't carry right now. Shit. Oh, I need to carry use the battery pack. Actually, I need to re restore power. Hi. Oh, so there's a difference between gunpowder and explosives, apparently. You, I can deal with right now. Explosive? Hey, do you mind combining with this guy? Thank you. Uh, about gunpowder... I think those, if I take both gunpowder, where's the other one? I think they're gonna make some more shotgun ammo, in which case they're not going to really take extra space because I can combine them here. Yes, top quality item management right here. And I can combine you two to something I can actually use. A love letter here. My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. Oh, this is not a love letter. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little body is brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course. Maybe I should try a British accent just to make it more evil. But I can't. Not good at it. And of course, that voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So these are further experiments on the Hunters. So what if you are susceptible to heat? So what if you delicate mandibles exposed when you feed? Have they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gummers, are truly superior. Okay. I don't know if they're really that superior, if I can take them with a few shotgun shots, but hey. They are sharp with legs, you gotta admire the imagination of it. Oh, poop, I still can't take them. Oh. 
Hey, can't you combine with this? Woohoo! Guess who has a power pack? Okay, we managed to grab everything in this room, I think. Time to head out. Now... I'm gonna just walk through this. Come on, Joe, you can do it. That's it, girl. I'm proud of you. Oh, look at that, more stuff. Stuff I probably can't take right now. Uh, are you properly dead, sir? I think so. Give me those shotgun shells and uh, some more notes. Sewer workers' notes. It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to... Is he trying to rhyme? I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cop said he'd probably skip town, but I said no way! No way this baby coming any day! <laughs> he is trying to rhyme, isn't he? But did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke briefing. Cold faced motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows his face, I'm gonna hit it right in this big ugly mouth. And here you are. Actually, I don't, I don't know why he's still remotely. I mean, appearing to be a, a complete human. I'd expect him to be just a digested mess. Uh, gunpowder, I have no room for you. Now, where else should I be going? You know what? Let's just go install the power pack, why don't we? Oh! Good God. Roughly took six shots. I mean, it took exactly six shots to get him. There seems to be. It seems like it's not completely universal uh, just how much damage they can take. Oh, good God. Grenades do work pretty well. So far I'm still happy with the decision that I didn't take the grenade launcher. I mean I only had two shots of it. I would have got more but they just take so much space. Okay so let's save some space by using the, power, the battery pack. Thank you. Are you kidding me? Come on. You don't want to eat me, really. Oh shit. I need time to reload. Can he open doors? That took five shots. So I'm thinking it, it took five shots because I shot him more uh, close to his mouth. This big open mouth. Okay, we are uh, at some new places. Can I open this? Yes. Uh, this appears to be a shortcut. Let me just go back and uh, grab the thing that I was that I didn't get last time.
Okay, let's check this place out. Um, I'm th think this is a shortcut kind of thing. Yes. Okay, security room, we need another power pack. What the heck? Oh, can we bring the power uh, take the power pack from before because we can uh, we can just uh, use this door now. We can. And I don't have a space for it. Wow. I totally shot myself in the foot here. I thought leaving one space was kind of enough. Uh, I was wrong. Okay, let's take that. Okay, finally got what I wanted. Explosive A. Some gunpowder. Okay, these are really good stuff. I guess that's the room. So far we've been pretty thorough with everything, I'm happy about that, but that leaves the question like where do we go? See I wonder if I still need a power pack. Let's take the power pack and uh, see if... Yeah there's still a chance we might need it, so let's bring it with us. Aha! I knew it. I knew it. So, new place. It's getting a little tense again. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. They're still waiting for me. That's pretty cool. I mean, Nikolai's probably pissed. Oh, great. What the worst stalker ever. Oh, shit. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running! Yes! Practiced! No stars! I quit! Uh boy. You can use weapons? Yeah. That's not a typical zombie in case you haven't noticed, Joe. I thought I was going to dodge this guy, but hey, small price for survival. I'm still fine. I hear him. I gotta get out, quick. Can't agree more. What's that for? Oh. Looking out for red barrels and uh, sparkling generators and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Damn it. 
Jesus. I think it still looks creepy. Oh, a safe room. He, he, he can't possibly chase me all the way here, can he? Let's see, um... Bring out the gunpowder. Nice. Hell, I'll just take everything. Why not? Just in case we need him. Um, right, let's go. We're not dying today. Okay, we gotta end this round. Defeat the creature. Well, that doesn't sound plausible, but hey, let's give it a try. Hey, look at that. I knew there was a reason I took the red herb. What do you do? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> wow, Jill, you look smoking tonight. Hey, what's that? Thank you. Explosive rounds. That's very helpful. I'm burning him. I don't know if how well it's working, to be honest. Um, how am I supposed to... Oh, switch to explosive round. How are we doing? He's pissed. He's pissed! That didn't work. Maybe I can hit the fuel tank. Yes, good idea. Good! That was a good idea at the time. Oh, sh shit. We're gonna have to tough through this. Um, switch. Good gracious. He's dodging me? That makes it just unfair, isn't doesn't it? Okay, flame runs left. This place needs to burn even more than already has. How are you burning through all that? Oh shit, I can't even fucking see him right. Did I hit him? I, I can tell. Oh! Fuck you. Fuck you. Seriously. Sincerely, fuck you. It's still kicking? Yep. It's kicking fast! Oh boy. Oh boy! Oh my god. <laughs> what is Take a hint, guy. Oh. 
Nope, nope, nope. I am sidestepping you. Hey, something I could take from there. I missed it. Next round, baby. Give me shotgun shells. Good. How how did those shots not explode during all this fire? Okay, we uh, beat Nemesis, at least uh, for now. Exhausted a lot of ammo on him, but we still have plenty. So things are kind of looking okay. Uh, so now we just... Carlos, mm, okay. it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? No. Yeah. Bastard's dead. No, he's not. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Oh, the city in ruins. Look at all that. I mean, I, mean I, I, I gotta say, regardless of the state Raccoon City is in right now, holy shit, look at that. This city has an abundance of cops. It was probably pretty secure before all this happened. And now we got a fat guy trying to get into the restaurant. Screw it. it just, you know. It's completely dignified. Where are we? Gun shop. Oh, we're back here. Is there something I maybe could have taken? Wait a second. There were. Can I go back for that? Did I miss? Did I? Did I seriously miss? A, a, some uh, rounds for my grenade launcher back there okay maybe I did uh, let's go around see if there's anything we missed hang on a minute this is a um, is this the same place in Resident Evil 2 Holy shit, I think it is. Are you kidding me? Uh, hey, gun shop owner, how are you doing? Oh, this place is completely picked clean by... Well, supposedly, uh, Leon and uh, Ada. Well, nope, it's not. We still got plenty of stuff. How do we still have stuff here? I took everything as them. Uh, semi-auto barrel. We got another upgrade for the shotgun. Shotgun is being spoiled, I think. W what is this? Why can't I take it? Oh, you know what? I'm. I bet the shotgun will need two slots once we get the thing. Explosive A or B? That is the question, man. Uh, I'm gonna. Shit! I I thought. Two A's are supposed to be flame rounds. I was wrong. 
I thought in that way we could probably just reload them so we don't have... Oh, wait. You know what? Maybe we still can reload them. Okay, we're putting them in the weapon so we don't have to carry them. Right? That's... Oh, no. Then we have to carry the flame runs instead. Well, I'm, I'm coming back for you. Oh, we got some gunpowder here too. Wow, so a lot of stuff I need to get. Uh, whoa, whoa, dude, you're still. You're all right. Yeah, all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You win. Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Oh, his daughter. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. Oh, his daughter is already getting sick. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Oh, thanks, man. I'm going back to the station, aren't I? You know, I always knew there was a police station level in uh, Resident Evil 3, the original one. But I've heard rumors that they, uh... That they uh, deleted that part in the remake of 3. I was kind of disappointed with that. But it looks like we are going back. And why wouldn't we? I'm, into, uh, I'm going to put one of you in there. So I can have some more space. Ooh, okay. Let's get this. And indeed, that takes two, sh two slots now. So, uh, so this happens before Leon and Ada got to get here in the Resident Evil 2. Does that mean they are actually in the police station right now? I don't know. So, wow, guys, very exciting things ahead of us, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the game. For now, I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, thank you so much for watching. See you at the station, guys.